Standing is one of the most critical times in a polar bear's life cycle. The Arctic is an extremely harsh climate with cold temperatures and howling winds. Female polar bears den and give birth to their young underneath the snow. This den is critical and it keeps them safe while they're very, very young and vulnerable to the outside conditions. It's important that cubs remain in the den with their mother, undisturbed, so they can grow and develop. If you want adult bears, you need to have baby bears coming into the population. Protection of denning polar bears is super important for their long-term conservation. Without the protection of females and their cubs through the denning process, we're not gonna have healthy populations going forward. We have to find ways to protect dens under the snow. Initially, we looked at forward-looking infrared, something that sees a thermal signature coming out of the snow is very promising but it relies on very stable weather conditions in the Arctic, and that's been changing over the years. We don't see that stability, and so that tool has been less effective than we hoped. And that's why we've changed to looking at synthetic aperture radar, ground-penetrating radar that can see underneath the snow and is not weather dependent. It is really difficult for us to be able to locate exactly where these dens are, especially in a place that's so vast as the Arctic. This landscape is massive. Lots of things have been tried to locate dens. You could just spend time in the area, driving around on your snowmobile, maybe skiing, maybe walking, and look for snow holes. This is super time consuming. And that led this down the path of synthetic aperture radar. SAR is not an imaging technique like a camera, but instead it's radar. And each one of the pixels, each one of the pieces of information that SAR gathers is actually geo-referenced. It's a spot on the map. And so when we go out and we look for bears, it actually gives us a place somewhere out there to go repeat and look again, or maybe go visit afterwards to be able to ground truth. So it's, it's got a ton of possibilities. The other neat thing about synthetic aperture radar, we don't have to be on top of the den. We don't even have to be anywhere near the den. We can be something like 4,000 feet above the den in an aircraft and probably not even noticeable by the female down below in the snow. Developing a new tool, a reliable tool for polar bear den detection is critical to our work in polar bear conservation. If we can't protect denning females, we're not going to have successful reproduction in some of these subpopulations that are already challenged by melting sea ice. Polar bears spend most of their lives outside of the view of humans. In order to really truly help this animal, we need better information. And a lot of times that's remote sensing or some sort of remote tracking techniques that allow us to understand what's going on out there with their habitat, where they're spending their time, the more we know about an animal, the better we can protect that animal. In the end, if this project is successful, we will be able to image polar bears underneath the snow. We will be able to know exactly where a denning female and her cubs are beneath the surface. If we can locate dens, sure it helps with research, but it also helps with protecting these animals. If we can know exactly where they are, we can tell other folks that maybe want to do work in these areas to say, hey, we need to stay away from this critical spot during this time of year. Polar bears are a long-lived species, and so we really have to take a look at these animals over a long period of time in order to notice trends or changes that are happening. Their habitat is changing at a rapid rate. Some of these long-term projects that have gone on for 30 or 40 years are able to unlock some of these findings that tell us that they are in trouble and that they need help. Long-term monitoring and projects in general, research projects, help us understand an animal in greater depth and hopefully help us find solutions in order to help protect that animal.